Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to section 2 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. So this is an all new section and we have already discussed about Cucumber with Selenium in section 1 but in section 1 we were discussing completely about Cucumber so there was nowhere we discussed anything about Selenium. But Cucumber is a very very important concept before we start working with Selenium. So we discussed in section 1 about Cucumber, we saw how the tool behaves and how to write scenarios, features, working with multiple data and many things. And we are going to continue the section 1 with the different parts. So currently we have close to 10 parts and we will be evolving the number of parts from 10 through 20 based upon the number of features we are going to add in for that particular video series. I mean that's going to be a completely different section and this is completely different section. So the sections are different but they are going to talk entirely different tools. Even though they are going to talk about entirely different tools, we are going to glue together these tools to perform a single operation. So Cucumber with Selenium video series all together is going to be a BDD kind of automation testing for selenium so that's the ultimate goal so we are going to do that so as that said section one is in completely different track and you will see that it's going to be completely talking about cucumber and section two is going to be a complete different track but it's going to talk about selenium along with cucumber so you should have a clear understanding of section one before watching this section which is nothing but section two right so as that said before watching this section of cucumber with selenium I would request you to watch section 1 so that you can have a clear understanding of what this section is going to be. So in this part, which is nothing but part 1, we are going to talk about introduction to cucumber with selenium. So let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet earth. So this is going to be our future, not just automation is going to be the future. So let's all help to save our motherly planet earth. Adding selenium dependency. So as that said, once we start working with or any of the different kinds of libraries, we need to add the dependency of that particular library. And here Selenium is a library and we need to add the dependency for Selenium. And before starting to work with Selenium, the jar file that we're going to add for the palm.xml file is going to be this. So we are going to add the org.seleniumhq.selenium. So this is the group ID and the artifact id is selenium java so we need to add this particular jar file for our existing cucumber project that we discussed in section one and then we'll start working from there and once again section one video series complete source code is available in github so you can always go back and download the particular source code and start working this particular video series from there right so i'm going to add a separate repository in Excel automation in github so that you can try to download the source code for this particular video series as well right so you can learn selenium java we have already discussed about selenium java a lot from this two video series one is selenium framework design and development this is a completely free course available in Excel automation youtube channel you can completely watch this video series for free you can understand how to develop a complete framework using the selenium for java right and then there is one more which is nothing but selenium tidbits so you can also see how things work like opening a browser or how to click a button how to identify a button how to work with xpath css what is this selenium grid all about so all these things that you can discuss about in, in a tidbits nutshell in this particular video series again these two video series are going to deal completely about selenium java so it's completely about selenium in java language so you can learn these two video series to understand how selenium works so as that said we are not going to talk about selenium a lot in this particular video series the cucumber with selenium rather we will see how things can be gelled together with cucumber and selenium together in this particular video series so let's start writing our code then and see how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. 
So this is the same project which we have been working so long in our section one of Cucumber with Selenium video series. So in our last video of the section one, we discussed about dependency injection. In dependency injection, what we did was we just added a base util class and we tried to just mock the web driver which is available somewhere right here, something like step info, just passed it and we saw how things works. So now while we start to work with Selenium, the first thing we need to do is to add the dependency for Selenium web driver in our project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Chrome and I'm going to navigate to the Maven repository for the Selenium web driver. So I'm just going to say Selenium web driver Maven and this will navigate me Maven repository for Selenium, Selenium Java, right? So I'm just gonna go over there and the latest version while recording this video is 3.0.1. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna come back to pawn.xml file and I'm gonna add a dependency for our Selenium. So I'm just gonna save that. And as you can see that the IntelliJ is intelligent enough to add all the jar files for us. And you can see that it has added very, very different jars this time like Selenium HQ dot API, Chrome driver, Edge driver, Java, Opera, support, and so many things which is required for Selenium automation. So everything is added right now. All I have to do is I just have to start writing the code right now. So instead of this dummy step info, which I'm really not going to be interested in, I'm just going to add a public web driver of driver. You'll understand why I'm adding the driver right now, right here. I'm just going to save it. And then since we have removed the step info, we have to remove the step info from here as well because we have added that in our previous video. So I'm just going to remove that and I will go over to the hook and I will remove this particular step info as well, which is not required. All right. So instead of this dummy web driver, we are going to really pass the real web driver this time. While working with Selenium, the first and foremost thing which we need to do is to open the Firefox driver, right? So either a Firefox driver or a Chrome driver or an Internet Explorer driver or a Pera driver, whatever you name it. But right now we're going to work with the Firefox driver. Since the launch of Selenium 3.0 beta versions, they started to support the Firefox Geeko driver for Firefox. So you need to add the Marionette driver along with the Firefox driver. So you need to actually set the system property to point the Geeko driver and perform the operation. We have discussed about this a lot in Selenium tidbits of Excel Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch that particular tidbit so that you can understand how to set the Firefox Marinette driver for opening the Firefox browsers from 47.0.1 and above. Right, so I'm just going to use the same line of code this time as well. So I'm just going to set the system property for webdriver.firefox.marionet and the Geeko driver I have specified right here. Right, and then I have to open the driver for Firefox. Right, so as we know that our base util class actually has the driver object right so we have this driver so i'm just going to call the driver you can see this driver is actually coming from the base util class and here i'm going to set the firefox driver right so what i did actually if you see this i have set the firefox driver right here and i have specified the driver object in here and now if i try to call any of the operation for the driver something like driver dot find element by name or id or something like that in our login step then i can easily use the driver object because i have used the dependency injection here and once again if you have watched the videos of cucumber with selenium section one in that series we discussed how to work with the dependency injection and how to pass the object of a variable from one class to another using the dependency injection which is nothing but the pico container right so i'm just going to use the same concept here so i'm setting the driver object right here and then i need to navigate to the website so as of now i'm not going to navigate to the website right here I'm just going to set the Firefox driver over here in this particular method and I'm not really opening the mock driver but I'm opening the browser Firefox this time 
oops I'm just gonna save it and what is the feature actually says I navigate to the login page if you're gonna navigate to the login page then we have to go over here so I'm just gonna say so I need to get the driver object this time so how do I get it it's very easy we have the base variable here and then we get the driver right so that's exactly what I'm gonna do so let's go to the hook as well this driver let's set a little more meaningful base dot driver for this driver I'm gonna navigate to the URL is going to be http colon double slash www dot execute automation dot com slash demo site slash login dot html so I've just specified that so this will navigate to the login page and then what is the next line it has to enter the username and password so we'll discuss about that later in our next video of this particular video series but as of now just to see how things works I'm just going to run this code and see if the cucumber is actually integrating with selenium and it is working with the dependency injection and is it really working with the latest browser marionette as well right so let's try to run this now it should if there is no problem open the browser and navigate to our exit automation login page so if it is navigating to the login page which means the web driver object is actually used here to navigate from one class to another class using the dependency injection so which is a great news right so I think it is working fine without any problem and I can see that it is opening for the two scenarios that we got so I'm just gonna stop it so which is great I mean right now we can see that the dependency injection is working the latest Firefox browser is working and also I can open the Firefox browser and navigate to the exit automation website using this particular simple operation that we did here right so in the next video we'll talk more about working with different objects with selenium and cucumber so once again, thank you very much for watching this video guys and have a great day.